Welcome everyone. My name is Bill Kinahan and I'm a solution architect with Zero to Ten. Today I'm going to walk you through the approval solution for Microsoft Dynamics CRM. The record approval solution is an easy to implement single or multi-step approval chain. All the interactions take place on the record. You'll notice those up on the custom ribbon buttons. And in the background there's fully customizable workflow processes that control any notifications, the approval routing, as well as the actual actions to approve or decline. If we take a look at the Microsoft CRM screen, there is a few differences. You'll notice that up in the toolbar or the ribbon, you'll notice that there is now the request approval and the close is lost. There is no one option because the actual opportunity needs to go through an approval process before it can be won. Okay? You'll also notice that we can set thresholds such as revenue. In this case, you can see it's set to $150,000. That threshold, if the revenue threshold is lower than that, then the appropriate approval process would kick off and run. Once the request for an approval is made, you'll notice the ribbon will also change for the person now looking at the opportunity that is going to initiate the approval. They can do the approve, the decline, as well as put any comments that they would like to send back to the person who is initiating it. Each step of the approval process is tracked and the responses are logged. Now let's take a look at Microsoft CRM and walk you through the actual approval process. As you can see, I've created a new opportunity in the system and in the ribbon at the top, there's a new button called Request Approval. I'm going to click on that button. And that's going to initiate the approval process for us. You'll notice that Approve and Decline is available on the screen for me right now. That's because I have the ability from a rights perspective to see that. But in this case, we are going to route this to another user in the system to approve. Now I'm logged in as David. And David has got the email asking for approval of this opportunity. You'll notice in the approval history I've got the opportunity name, David is the approver, who, what his title is, and the approval decision is pending. I can go in as David and now approve or decline this request. In this case we'll approve it. You'll notice we get a pop-up saying opportunity is approved. That is now going to route back to the original person who asked for the approval and they'll have the ability to go in and close the opportunity. I'm now logged in as Evan who originated the request for the approval and you can see through the approval history that David has now approved it, put in some comments of great job, go ahead. Now Evan can close this opportunity as won or as lost and continue with the process. Thank you for attending the approval process solution overview. If you have any questions, be sure to reach out to your 0 to 10 account director. Have a great day.